Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create A plus content for your low content books in the absolute easiest way possible. I am super excited to show you guys this trick because I think it's really going to help you take your creations to the next level and optimize your listings for even more sales. If you watched my last video on how to create A plus content, you know it can be a little complex. The way I used to do it is I would grab some free PSD files to use for mockups and then I would snatch one page or just the front cover of my design and I'll do some fancy magic to fuse them together using a free online tool called Photopea. This certainly got the job done, but it just took quite a while. And honestly, it kind of made me feel less inclined to create A plus content for more books just because it's such an involved process with lots of very specific steps. So when I figured out that you can create A plus content through Canva by using their smart mockups tool, I knew that this is going to be an absolute game changer. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder that I am in the process of working on a course that's going Going to take you from zero sales to making your first 10 and then even a hundred. I know a lot of you are still stuck in those beginning preliminary stages and aren't seeing the success you want to and I know this course is going to help you figure out the next steps you need to take so you can start seeing your results grow but in the meantime make sure to go and grab my free KDP templates by heading down and clicking the link in the description. We are talking multiple covers and multiple interiors most of them editable inside Canva and they are gorgeous and also free just type in your email address and they'll be delivered directly to your inbox. You'll also be the first to know when my course goes live so you get the best deal possible. And now let's get back to the video. So first off, let me give you a quick idea of what A plus content is if you're not already familiar with it. Feel free to skip ahead to the Canva tutorial if you already know, but for those of you who don't, you're gonna wanna hear this. It actually it took me a while before I had even heard of A plus content and it's one of those things you're gonna need to start implementing once you've gotten some books live and now want to start seeing sales or increase your existing sales. Ever since Amazon KDP rolled out some changes geared toward low content books, there have been some benefits, but also unfortunately some downsides. And I believe the biggest downside is that these types of books are no longer able to have the look inside feature for their listing. This allowed the customer to simply click on your book and get a snippet of what they receive after purchasing. However, low content books no longer get ISVNs and this means no look inside feature. So so how will the customer know what's inside the book? After all, the book might say gardening logbook, but they can't know for sure what the interior looks like beyond just reading the description. What if it's just a bunch of lined pages? They ultimately can't tell for sure. That is where A plus content comes in. According to Amazon KDP's Help Center, A plus content is designed to enhance the shopping experience for customers by providing additional product information, multimedia, and enhanced visuals. This type of content provides a comprehensive and detailed look at the product and this this is a great place to insert a mock-up, which is an image that gives a preview of what the book would look like within the context of the real world. For example, the majority of the A plus content I have created has been a pretty photo of an open book, and then I'll slap my interior onto it, giving a nice preview of what's inside my book. When done properly, it should look like someone took a professional photo of your book. Having A plus content is absolutely essential for low content books as it helps to increase the visibility and appeal of the book, making it more attractive to potential customers and increasing the chances of receiving a sale. By creating A plus content, you can make sure that your book stands out among the competition provides a valuable experience for your audience. With A plus content, you can take the surprise factor out of your potential customer's shopping experience and ensure they know exactly what they'll be receiving. Everyone wants to be as formed as possible before buying something and that's exactly what A plus content aims to do. Creating A plus content is the easy part, however. What's a lot trickier is creating that professional mock-up of your book that looks both legit and appealing. But thankfully with Canva, it's not too hard and I can't wait to show you guys just how easy it is. Let's get right to it. All right, here we now are in the good old Canva. The first thing that we are going to do is we need to head over to our smart mockups section, which is right over here in tools down at smart mockups. Go ahead and click that. And now in here is where we're going to see all our different options for mockups. And we've got our different categories. You can also go ahead and type something in, whatever works best for you. Just go through and see what your options are. The first thing I'm going to note, so we're going to want to head over to print, print is 
is going to have the majority of our options as well as books. So you're going to go ahead and click on books. Here are all our different book options. And I don't know if you can tell, but for all of these, it is just the cover that we are looking at, which is a little disappointing to me when I went and found that, you know, we've got all these books and I kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And there were just no interiors. The only one I could find is all the way down here. And even then we only can do the design on one part of the page and it'd be better if we could do both parts of the page so it could be a little bit more accurate so this is our one option here i've got some other options so keep watching though if you want something for the interior if you want something for the cover however we've got lots of great options here as well that are super super cute we also notice the majority of these are pro there are going to be some free ones throughout though i think the majority of the free ones were more up top okay these are free you've got some options you just have to dig a little bit more i would recommend pro however i do love canva pro here's a free one right here another free one really cute so we're gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and create this let's go with this one this one's cute so just click on it and then we're gonna say select all right we can head over here to our designs and go with what we have already created which makes it super easy so let's see i've got my free kdp covers which you can actually grab yourself by going down and clicking the link in the description and signing up with your email address so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this and grab this guy select that and then here we are except obviously that's not quite accurate it's designed so that we've got both front and back so we're gonna come here to adjust i'd recommend going to fill so now here we've got fill and we are going to put it in the middle as much as possible so it can be as accurate as possible i would also recommend making sure that you grab a cover that is as close to the size that you're going for for your book so that it looks as accurate as possible this one might not be as accurate but it's still pretty darn close all right, so here we've got our fill. It's nicely filled in. And so now we'll save and you'll see how pretty this looks. It's super, super cute. Again, probably not the most accurate image. I probably could have found a more accurate one. This is just an idea of what you can create with good old smart mockups in Canva. So now we would just go ahead and save that. Give Canva a second to figure it out. And now you come here to use in a design, which would probably be a good option if you needed to tweak the dimensions of it so it would fit better as a plus content or you can just go ahead and download it and then it saves as a lovely png right here all right that is how you can create a mock-up for a cover but if you want to do an interior obviously there aren't a ton of options here for books so instead we're gonna head back to our beginning and this is where i think print comes in handy i looked close at all the different options but the one that i think is the best like magazines that one doesn't work as well because the way it is looks like most of these are just the cover again and then the interior has a regular magazine interior as well so that doesn't help us i think card is also just the front of the card and they're also small that one's not quite as good but if we come up here to search i went ahead and tried searching paper and believe it or not we've got a lot of standard paper in here and looking through these we've got some that are folded up like a book just like this and honestly if you didn't know it wasn't a book you probably think that it was a book i know i would maybe it's just me but some of these could definitely pass as books as long as you don't see the other side especially because kdp books can be a little bit thinner so these are already quite accurate as long as you make sure that you grab one with a crease in the middle so right here for example is excellent i think this is a great one to use for interiors i was just playing around and testing with it earlier and it worked really well so now i'm going to insert my interior coming back to recent designs grabbing this guy so this is one that i took from one of my cover files and i just added the two interiors on both pages so that it would look like just one so like the two as one file you know what i mean so i went ahead and did that so that it would work a bit better because you can't insert two images so i made this into one so i select that just an example interior so here we've got but we also have these lines here that we don't really want as much that show where the edge of the file is so again we'll come to adjust fill we don't have to touch it beyond that click 
save. And here we've got this bad boy. I think it's really cute and it looks very convincingly like a book. And even if it didn't necessarily, I think it shows off the interior really well. And it helps that whoever this is, is holding it like a book as well. So that shows off our design. And if we shrunk it a little, like how you would typically do with A plus content with the dimensions, then you definitely couldn't tell at all that it's not a notebook and it's actually just a piece of paper with a crease in the middle. So then again, you just go ahead and save, download it or use it in a design and then change the dimensions. But again, super easy. You can do both the cover and the interior. There aren't as many options for the interior, unfortunately, but honestly, you could just use the same one for every single interior that you might have. And I think it would look amazing, but you could also look at other options as well in print, dive a bit more into cards, maybe even brochures probably the rest of these wouldn't work as well but you have certainly got quite a few different mock-up options and don't forget this canva is a great option when you're creating mock-ups ever because i honestly forgot that canva had such an abundance of different mock-ups to look through and play with you can even create a balloon so awesome obviously not useful for kdp so i apologize for just going off about how cool these mock-ups are but i think they're really cool and now really quick i did cover how to create a plus content in my last video so i am not going to show you in depth how to do that just a quick reminder all you'd have to do is sign into your kdp account come here to marketing once you click that this page will pop up and then you'll come down here to a plus content choose marketplace amazon.com manage it and then you'd go ahead and click the button inside to create new a plus content and then you just go through and you'd add in your images with the right dimensions add in whatever text you want add it to the books that you want and then you've got some really cute and simple a plus content all right everyone that's about it thanks so much for watching this video i hope that it provided you with a much easier way to create a plus content right in canva rather than having to do a bunch of manual work with psd files both techniques obviously still work and while the other method may take longer to do it'll offer you a lot more customizability ultimately it depends on what you prioritize when creating mock-ups for your a plus content but hey if canva is able to do what you need it to do then hopefully this video has helped you save a lot of time in the long run before i end don't don't forget to head down to the link in the description to grab your free KDP templates. I worked super hard on them and I think they came out beautifully and I hope you love them as much as I do. All you have to do is type in your email and they'll be delivered straight to your inbox. I've got a course I am launching next month so you'll also be the first one to secure the best deal when it goes live. Overall, I am very, very excited for this new path and I hope it makes a huge difference in your KDP journey as well. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. I would super duper appreciate it and I would love to have you. All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.